Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to look at the Lewis structure for a Cl2 molecule which is also known as sulfur chloride. So to start with its structure, we are first going to look at the total number of valence electrons. Here chlorine has 7 valence electrons in its outer shell as it is a halogen, it belongs to the halogen group. And as there are two uh, chlorine atoms over here, we are going to multiply this number by 2. And sulfur has 6 valence electrons in its outer shell. So in total, we have 6 plus 14, 20 valence electrons for SCL2. Now sulfur here will take the central position because it is less electronegative than the chlorine atom. So place sulfur in the center and chlorine atoms on the uh, sides of the sulfur atom. Now after doing this, place a pair of electrons between each sulfur and um, each chlorine and sulfur atom to show a bond. Doing that we will use 4 electrons out of 20. Now the remaining electrons should be placed around atoms such that it completes octet for all the atoms over here. So we are going to start with chlorine atoms first. It already has 2 valence electrons so we are going to place 6 on each chlorine atom and the remaining we will place it around sulfur. Doing that, we can see over here that chlorine atom has complete octates as it has 8 valence electrons in its outer shell and even sulfur has complete octates because it has 8 valence electrons in, it, uh, in its outer shell. However, the electrons in the central atom, which is these 4 electrons, will be non-bonding electrons or 2 non-bonding pairs of electrons which are also known as lone pairs of electrons. Remember to uh, notice the number of lone pairs and bonding pairs of electrons because it can help you find out the molecular geometry and bond angles ahead and this is the Lewis structure of SCL2 it's quite easy and it might seem linear but to know more about its molecular geometry and polarity make sure to check the video linked in the description box below and for more such videos on Lewis structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching